want to move on to the other developing story this morning, the global cyber attack where hackers demanded money and exploited a dangerous security hole which froze computers at over 100,000 companies in 150 countries. We're now learning about the computer security programmers who were able to stop the attack, but could there be a second wave coming? Here's ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross. U.S. officials this morning are praising the quick work of this computer security programmer in Indiana, Darian Huss, and a counterpart in Great Britain, who analyzed the hackers' messages demanding ransom and stumbled onto a kill switch that shut down the massive attack in its tracks. So I was panicking, looking through the code, and I realized that actually, no, we had stopped it. Once the kill switch was activated, the malware would simply do nothing. The tally of victims this morning includes FedEx in the United States, railroads in Germany and Russia, factories and phone companies across Europe, and hospitals in Great Britain, where surgeries were canceled, ambulances turned away. This morning, law enforcement and intelligence authorities around the world, led by Britain's new computer security squad, where we were recently given rare access, are working to track down whoever was responsible, with Russian organized crime considered a prime suspect. There's all been people trying to steal money. Uh, the digital world gives people an opportunity to do that on a scale hitherto unknown and it allows bad people to think up of new ways of doing bad things. Ironically, cybersecurity experts believe the attack was carried out with the help of a program actually first developed by U.S. intelligence to compromise the computers of terrorists and foreign adversaries. They lost it. Somebody stole the information, published it on the Internet, and it now is being used against victims in the United States and elsewhere. As of this morning, U.S. officials believe American companies have dodged a bullet in all this because most had upgraded their computers to close the vulnerabilities and because of the quick activation of that kill switch. Even so, U.S. officials tell ABC News they believe the hackers will try a second wave of attacks without a kill switch and that that could come anytime soon. Dan and Paula? Not something to look forward to. Brian Ross, thank you very much.